I shot just a street scene on some Orwell UN54 on my Sankyo ES44XL. Not sure why I used that one. And then I uh, made five fixes, five tests. I wanted to, I shot some, I, bleh. some of it I used no fixer at all. I just rinsed it in water because you've got to see what happens if you don't put any fixer at all in there. Uh, second one, of course, I used the Kodak Pro fixer. So you've got to see what happens when, it, when, it, when using the proper stuff. And then I made an onion broth, uh, onion broth with salt and then just water and salt because I'd heard somewhere that salt water can also be used to fix. So I want to try that as well while I'm at it. So there's my uh, buckets with the salt. Some of it has stock with salt. And um, after about, I don't know, but after about six hours, um, well, no, after a couple, after about an hour or so, I got to see these little bits in the onion juice. And I thought, what's those bits? I look closer and they're all square. Interesting. Bit closer than that. And uh, what are these bits hanging in the in suspension? They are, of course, salt crystals, which are cubes. And they're hanging around in the onion broth. And uh, then when I let I left it all for longer, because I heard you have to leave salt water uh, to fix for like 24 hours or something. So uh, I left it for a whole 24 hours. So, and more of those crystals, there we are, they started appearing. That's the onion and salt. And um, after 24 hours, I took them out and look at this. So anyway, that one on the left is the onion with salt water. The one in the middle is just salt water. And the one on the right was just, uh, just, just onion juice, onion, onion broth. <laughs> Making me hungry, says old readers. Okay, so here are some results. Now, that was the entire results strip there. So these are the fixes again. 100 grams per 200 mils, uh, 100 grams salt. Anyway, so these are the fixes again. And let's see what I did. I'll get some, uh, I looped the few frames that did come out on uh, of the various different strips, only a few frames. So this is just water and it was very thick. It was very dark. It was almost impossible to get an image through it. There was an image there with an extremely bright light. You could probably get an image through. Okay, with, and this is number two. This is when you, with the Kodak Pro Fixer, um, if you don't count all the uh, bits and pieces like on the film, that does an okay job with the fixing. Um, and then um, now this, number three, um, number three, this was the onion broth with no salt. Not good, I'm afraid. Uh, no, re Not any better than just tap water. So that was a bit disappointing. Very, very faint image that I had to, you know, boost a bit even to see anything. Um, then the onion broth with the table salt is the next one, number four. Here it is. Much better. Much better. I think the salt might have... Uh, might have helped. Well, it definitely helped because the difference between them is like night and day. And then number five, this is the uh, salt only. Uh, looks a bit rough, but the actual film itself looks pretty good. So yeah, the salt worked. Now this is the um, onion broth with salt after I took it out and before I washed it. You can see it's, a, it's, it's got this kind of thin film of kind of like just sort of salty, oniony, soupy nastiness stuck to the uh, to the film and this and the thing interesting thing is now this was uh yeah this was onion broth and salt um let's let's look at the next one um oh did i pause it no i didn't pause it it's just a long freeze frame there um barry says can you check the crystals for silver god i have no idea now look at that it's going to get really good in a second here on the right is just salt. And interestingly enough, when I took the film out of the salt water, it was covered in crystals. When I took it off, all the crystals just fell off. But when I took the onion and salt film out, the crystals all stuck to the film like this. Um, and and I, got, I got the old USB microscope out and I got some amazing close-up pictures of what that looks like. Look at that. Those are the salt crystals. This was after, this was overnight, by the way. I left it overnight. And the film got covered in these amazing cubic salt crystals. Um, apparently, if you don't want that happening, you have to keep the solution warm. It has to be very, very salt saturated and kept warm so the crystals don't, don't come out of solution. Now, look at this. Look at, all, look at the, the marks that the crystals made on the film. This is after I rinsed it and got rid of all the salt and everything. So it looks like the salt crystals were kind of growing on the film, maybe even preventing it from being fixed in certain parts. 
And it does make this interesting little sort of kaleidoscope-like pattern of uh, squares and shapes on the film itself. Um, some more close-up pictures with the uh, USB microscope because, you know, these pictures, they were too good not to share, really. Look at that. Amazing. Don't put that through your, through your projector, for God's sake. You, <laughs> you try explaining that to the projector repair person, if there's such a person even still exists. Look at that. Amazing. And they were stuck. I could hold that. I should shake that around. And they were, they were stuck solid to it. Nice. Nice. <laughs>